the conference is about the last mile, uh, but my job is really unconnected with the last mile. It's Mr. Ghosh and Mrs. Sinha who do the last mile, and most of the money for that last mile is provided by Mr. Saha. My focus remains on the first mile, which is to help uh, some of these entrepreneurs to actually get the first raw, first line of credit, first line of investment, uh, and therefore I'm an equity investor. And possibly that first mile sometimes put a smile on the faces of those poor, poor, poor people who finally are at the end of receiving that capital. Uh, I know there's enough being said about microfinance and there's not much for me to add to the microfinance uh, information overload that you have already gone through. So what I will try to tell you is what a person like me who has to make investments at an, at an early stage does. Uh, when we meet somebody who's trying to set up a microfinance institution, and I actually go beyond microfinance as well, uh, we normally are looking at what that person intends to do by getting involved in the activity of microfinance. Uh, largely, we are looking at if the person has uh, the clarity in terms of his vision of making the impact. And largely, what we heard maybe five years back was people wanted to actually get into microfinance to take away poverty. But over a period of time, we have realized poverty is far more complex that just one single intervention can change it. So I think one important myth that has been completely dismantled is that poverty is actually a far more complex tool and microfinance cannot solve it, but is a fairly important ingredient to deal with poverty. And in case we find entrepreneurs who understand this and understand the limitations that microfinance has and are still willing to play with it, it becomes an important ingredient for us to invest in them. The other factors that we look in people who are actually trying to start businesses in state like Bihar, uh, something very simple, we are looking for honesty and integrity. Uh, again, big words, uh, but can actually be looked at very simply. Uh, I think actually another important part is to look as an investor, as a partner, more like a marriage, and Bihar being a traditional society possibly understands marriage very well, but then we also know it has its own complications. Uh, I think the third part, which is very, very critical, is we are looking at investors or we are looking at investing companies or people who respect the meaning of money and understand the obligations that come with it when you take or raise equity from outside. Uh, I think uh, most of us have actually got the one minute slip. I would try to avoid that one minute slip keeping in mind that I have two more speakers to come behind me. I just wanted to end by saying that microfinance is actually one of the first things to do, but it's not the end of the world to actually engage with poor. There's far more that we need to do in terms of livelihood, in terms of health, education, and in terms of creating value that would take people out of poverty. And just single dimension interventions won't work, more so in issues that are as complex as poverty. Thank you very much.